this is Nemo and this is my first video where I'm going to be explaining to you something. So, uh, the video I'm doing today is about skincare and um, skincare was something to be honest I didn't religiously follow or ever. And it was something that I didn't really care about much, even though I had the worst possible skin. I do have um, a combination skin type, so I get oily and I get dry sometimes. So I have an oily area around my T-zone, so forehead, cheek area, nose area, this ten tends to get really shiny sometimes. But I do have dry patches, so I have dry patches here, around over here, sometimes over here. Yeah, so I have, that's my skin type, and yes, I'm my, I have really sensitive skin, so my skin reacts to anything new that I apply that might be a little too harsh for my skin type. So, now I have a bunch of products that I feel comfortable using, and I don't have a legit, um, strict routine, so I tend to skip a few things sometimes throughout the day because I just feel like maybe my skin needs a break so I just sort of sometimes splash it with water so I hope if you have my skin type I hope this skincare routine suits you guys and I hope maybe this works for some of you and helps you guys in one way or another so yeah I hope this I hope you enjoy this video now the first thing I like to do is when I wake up in the morning is I wash my face with a gentle wash because my nighttime routine with the stuff I use over the night is much more harsh so it's a process in the morning I like to keep it light so in the morning what I do is I just wash my face with a face wash and I use the Pons um, Pimple Clear White Multi-Action Facial Wash I'll add the links below and it's just a gentle uh, wash that, helps, that suits my skin tone it, it hasn't really reacted to my skin it's work well um, it's something very gentle and it's like a it's like a clay formula so it works well with me so I like to take a small amount wash my entire face with it in the morning and this is every day I haven't budged away from this and this is actually a new product that I tried and um, it's worked great for me so maybe this suits you guys too Bond's products usually don't suit me but this has worked and I can vouch for this one so you guys can use this one after that once I've washed my face I like to sort of let it air dry because I feel if I pat it with a towel or with a towel or a, you know a tissue or something I just feel like the more water there is on my skin the hydrate it will be so I use that once I'm done with that in the morning then I like to use a moisturizer so I have two moisturizers that I sort of alternate and one is the um, this was actually given to me by my um, skin specialist and it's called flexion i think and it's hypoallergenic so it suits everyone it doesn't contain any perfume or preservatives or colors so it's um, it's safe to use for all skin types so this is a very light moisturizer but it, it does a great job it, it like it's great so it's either this or i alternate between this one or my l'oreal one so this is a moisturizer, but this is the moisturizer I use every night too. So in the morning, after washing my face, I use either this moisturizer or I tend to use my L'Oreal uh, Hydra Total 5. It's for the normal to combination skin. And there's a night one and a day one, so this is the day one. I'll, again, I'll add the links below so you guys can find these products easily. Um, so this is just a light uh, everyday sort of a thing so I like to take a small amount and apply it on my face and my neck and it, it's great it doesn't get too oily and it absorbs nicely and it keeps my skin hydrated throughout the day so before makeup it's great I use that and then after that in the morning once I'm done with that I let it sort of sit I just go ahead with my morning makeup okay so at night when I have to uh, take everything off I do uh, use uh, makeup remover, so I use the Biodermas, ugh, this one's really messy. Uh, I use the Biodermas um, makeup removing solution, and this is great. It is great, it removes makeup in one swipe. So I use these uh, round cotton rounds, like you know, these, these ones. Yeah, so I just apply it on it, 
just wipe everything clean but I do have my lazy days when I don't feel like taking makeup off and that is when I use the Garnier's cleanser wipes <laughs> oops yeah that's when I use the Garnier cleanser wipes I keep these by my bedside so whenever I'm too lazy to take off my makeup I just take this clean <laughs> I'm done so you shouldn't do that that's bad okay uh, but yeah this is what I do to take off all my makeup so at night and when I'm done with that then what I do is I have this prescribed uh, acne face wash that I use I don't know if you guys should use it this is the B&B uh, &B acne free daily face wash this is, was also prescribed to me by my uh, skin specialist by my doctor so I I'm not sure if you guys can use this but this is good but this face wash gets you really really dry like it like it gets you dry to a point where your skin is cracking okay not that bad but it feels like your skin is really dry so because of that he he assigned me this moisturizer so these two go well together but if you want to use it separately I don't know it, you'll need a moisturizer after this so I use this face wash at night every night and um, once I'm done with that uh, I either use that or I use a, a scrub so I like to exfoliate my skin every alternate day or every two three days so I either use the Neutrogena's deep clean gentle scrub it's really good it's just a gentle scrub it just sort of uh, helps in clearing out the dead skin but the one thing that has changed my life especially during winter time because my skin gets to get really dry is the Neutrogena's cleansing pad thingy I don't know what you call it but I like I put in the link now this is just a small device it's um, at these it comes with these disposable um, pads like these pads so you just so you just sort of stick it on there and it um, and then you switch it on so it you just switch it on with the button over here so you just press that and it just starts to vibrate I don't know if you can hear it it starts to vibrate and this foams up and you just sort of you know uh, you just sort of scrub away all the dead skin and it, it's a great product you use it once and you feel your skin is so smooth and all the dead skills are gone and all oh, it is great it is absolutely great but I, it is I feel like it is, it, it is a little too harsh first the, to the skin so I don't use it every night or every day I use it every two or three days so either this or the scrub I use every two to three days I don't use it every night because my skin is sensitive so I don't want like harsh products on my skin so there's that okay once I'm done with that once all of that is done then I like to sometimes once when I have a pimple like a zit or a something so at night um, I take this is a trick actually uh, you get tea tree oil this is a normal body shops tea tree oil so what I like to do is um, on the pimple I take a q-tip I apply a few drops of tea tree oil in that and I just put it on the pimple like I apply it on my pimple so it that sort of shrinks the pimple and it just it's gone in a day or two it's just gone the pimple is gone <laughs> So this is magic guys, you need to get this. Tissue oil has a lot of benefits too by the way. So get yourself one of these. You can I found I got this with the body shop, so you guys can get that. Now for my lips. I like to scrub my lips. I recently got the Scoopo Scrub. Sorry. So I recently got the Scoopo Scrub lip scrub and it is great. It smells delicious first of all. Ah, oh, it smells like berry and coconut it smells amazing and it's a great exfoliant I use this to scrub away all my dead skin it's like my lips get really chapped in, during the winters so I like to use that once I've once I've scrubbed away all the dead skins dead skin I like to take my some coco coconut oil any coconut oil would do really I used to like to take that and just sort of apply that on my lips and yeah that's helped a lot and this is my skincare routine so all these products I have bought locally so there's nothing that you can't find in Karachi in Pakistan for all of you who are in Karachi uh, you can get it here from either Ava's or Amy's at Kata Market or DM you know all these local stores have these products so it shouldn't be too hard to find and I can add links 
for the office products below so if you guys want to order online if you're not from here you can get these products so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you found it a little bit helpful if not too helpful <laughs> and let me know what other videos you guys are interested in watching remember do like do subscribe and thank you for watching bye